I hope you're recording. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back. I am doing a video on something I kind of wanted to see and I haven't really found many of. So, I'm missing my screwdriver. Let me grab that. So, I have recently switched over to Apple. I have Apple iPhone, Apple TV, iPads. Um, with the Apple TV, I have the fourth generation, which comes with this remote here. But I don't like it because I have to plug it into an iPhone like plug. And it's very irritating. So what I have done is I took my 3D printer and I 3D printed a base. It's for the iPhone 3. So what I did is I made it a little bigger so that it kind of fits the iPhone 4 remote. But I also have this little silicone remote holder. And once everything's in place, whoop, pause the music, it's upside down. Hold on just a second. All right, so when it's on the right side, it sits in here and I bought this thing and I kind of printed it to where that should be perfect. I might bring it down just a little. But my idea is I bought this off Geek for a dollar, which Geek is kind of like Wish, you can buy the same thing. Then I went to Walmart and I bought this thing, it's $10, it's a five watt wireless charger for Android or iPhones. And then I got a battery pack to show that it works because I don't have an outlet built into my table. So to show this works, I have, I'm gonna plug this in. I'm gonna plug in the charger. Hit the button, turn it on. All right, so I've got a blue light, green light. I don't know what the difference is to the green light. But here I have an iPhone that has wireless charging. It is not currently charging. So when I set it down, you see it turns blue and now it goes to 61% charged. And I'll hold this up here for a second so you can see. It says it is charging. It's got the little light lightning bolt symbol inside of the battery. When I remove this, it goes away. So this does work. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to take this, take it apart, install it inside of a remote holder, and make it to where it can charge the iPhone remote without plugging anything in. You mean the Apple TV remote? Yeah, the, sorry, not the iPhone remote. <laughs> <laughs> I've been getting my Apple things confused. So we're gonna install the Apple TV remote. So I'm gonna plug this little adapter in I think it was a dollar or two off Wish. It has the Lightning Wish Geek, same thing. <laughs> Wish people more know about. So it's got the little lightning bolt connector or lightning connector. So we'll plug that in. Plug this in. And I've already trimmed this down. I held it up to a light so I could see through so I didn't want to cut the, the coil or whatever's inside of here. I already did that. I trimmed it down to very close to the size of the remote. And then actually test it as well with the remote with our battery pack. We'll plug in the wireless charger. So green light means it has power but it's not charging. And if we take the remote with the pack, set it on top, it turns blue. And if I look at my TV, yes it says Apple remote or it just says remote charging. It's got the remote symbol with the lightning bolt and it says remote charging. So this does work. So what I want to do is we're going to unplug everything. We're going to go ahead and leave this plugged in. And then what I'm going to do is put this back inside the case. I think I got this case off of Geek as well, or Wish. Um, I want to say it was like $2. It's a fourth generation Apple. So we're going to put that in there. And now we got to remove this. So we're going to take the screws out. I got some glue as well, so I can adhere it inside. I purposely made this hollow, so I can put the receiver in here. So we're going to take these out. Okay, so we got the four screws. Uh, all four 
four screws out. We're going to set those aside. We don't really need those right now. These are very small screws to handle. And I also got my putty knife for a 3D printer, but apparently I'm not going to need it because everything just falls apart. Alright, so we're going to pull out the charger board. Oh, I do need one other thing. I need my cutter so I can cut a little hole inside of here for These are the side cutters that came with my 3D printer. I'm just going to cut a small mill here. Try not to ruin the print, but it appears that's not going to happen. Alright, so I got this little cut out here. The cable will easily fit in there. So now, I've never taken one of these apart, so bear with me. I've got this coil. This coil, though, appears like it should fit inside, no problem. Take the scraper, slowly just kind of pull it out. Well, that's pretty simple. It came out in one piece. It appears that just sits there. So what I'm going to do here, get rid of the out case. We don't need the case anymore. And let's check our size. I think I got the size pretty good. I want it as high up there as I can get it. That's pretty good. So we're going to kind of push this up here. I'm going to take the cap off our glue. Put our little needle nozzle that came with it. And I'm going to put a piece of glue on here. I did not know this came this way, but let's see. Put a little bead of glue there. Uh oh, my glue's not stopped up. Here's it is. <clears throat> so just in case this happened, I did bring a needle. We're gonna put that in there. Set that on the case so that I don't destroy it. Table. Put this back on. Now what I want to do is I want to kind of secure this to the little chip. So let's see if I can do this to where you guys can see. fresh tube of glue. I have used this before for other projects. Alright, so I kind of feared this might happen. I'll just grab a new nozzle. There it is. So we're going to put a dab of glue here. as high up as I can get it. We're going to kind of pull it a little and press it together for a second. I'm going to grab just in case it gets a little messy. Alright, while we're doing this, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the USB cable because I don't want to have to do this afterwards. I want to glue the USB cable part of the charger. It came with, yeah, maybe three foot cable. Should be more than enough. Now, I want to take some glue and I want to run it around here so I can glue it to the inside of the holder. And we're going to glue the glue. Oh, wow. Well, I just busted the other side of the glue open. So I guess instead of wasting the glue, we'll just use our fingers. Alright, well that was a bit messy. I'm going to have to clean this up. So, apparently whenever you're using E6000 glue, make sure you don't bust open the end, because it opens. So we're 
Take a bead of glue and run it around the back end. Let's see if that works. And I gotta use the open end. Things come out better there anyway. This is on the back side, nobody's gonna see it or anything. I'm gonna hold it there for a minute. Let it adhere. I don't know how long this stuff takes to adhere. My hands are really sticky, by the way. Let's get that tucked down to where it's flush. Hey, Crystal, can you give me a towel, please? Paper towel? I'm gonna take this, and I just wanna make sure that coil kinda sits down flush. The higher the coil is, the better it is. And we're gonna hold that there. Thank you. Can you hold that end? Oh! Don't worry, this is all glue, not epoxy, it will come up. Gotta make sure I don't ruin her table. I don't want her mad at me. But it actually turns like rubber, so it's really cool. Another thing I did, and I just thought it would be kind of cool, is I printed it with the Apple logo open, but I, fold, I cut a piece of paper, folded it up to where it slide in just sit there so that the Apple logo kind of turns a little white. We'll see if that works. I don't know how long this epoxy takes to dry and I know you don't want to sit here for 10 hours waiting on the video to end. So we're pretty much done with the adapter so, and we've already put the little wireless charger adapter in there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to lay down a paper towel see if the finished product is going to work. So we're going to set this down here. We'll let it adhere to the table, that's fine. Right, so it does sit up. We're going to plug this into the top of the battery. We're going to turn this on. Now I didn't put an indicator of where the light was going to be. Um, I don't need to see the light. All I want to know is whether or not it's going to charge. So we're going to turn that on. Put this here. Now look at the TV. So I need to push this down a little, the adapter, because I printed this a little too high. This sticks up, so if I look at how this works, it sits up a little high. But we can easily fix that by just folding this cable down. We'll just do a fold down there and drops it down almost an inch. And then we'll just push it in. With the silicone rubber piece, you're really not going to notice this. Let's see, that should fix everything. And you can tell it's not charging because the adapter turned off. Let's see if that works. Wire back in there. Now we'll set this in place. We're looking at the TV. And it is not showing us charging. Let me hit the button. The light stayed on. Let me look at the LED up inside there. Oh, it is blue. It is charging. But for some reason, the... Oh, it's not showing. 
So the reason I know it's charging is the blue light. Remove this, turns green. I put it back down there and just set it into where it sits. Hit the button, and it does turn blue. It is charging. So this is success. I just gotta get this to adhere to that. And that's pretty easy by just holding it there. I'll probably maybe tape it overnight, let the epoxy set. But, so it's green. I'm not gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna set this in place. And when I set it in place, It turns blue, I didn't touch anything. It is working, so blue shows that it is charging. I have created a homemade 3D printed with a white apple, gotta add that, wireless charger. So my thought was, once this is glued, I will just set this like under the TV entertainment center, and all you have to do is take this and just set it in there. That way it's always in that spot, you can always see it. It says Apple Remote Charging, or just Remote Lightning Bolt Charging. Um, but it works, that's what I want. And you can tell it is charging because the lights are still on. And to prove that is the case, that I'm not showing some trickery, I'll unplug this. It should go off. If I hit the button, it'll show the status. But because nothing is drawing a charge, all the lights will go right back off. Now if I plug this in with the Apple remote off, turn on, lights are there, shows the static charge, but nothing is pulling a draw, so the lights go back off. If I take the Apple remote, put it inside, just set it inside the station. Actually at that time I didn't even have to turn it on, it just automatically said, oh, something's taking a draw. My version of a 3D printed automatic wireless charging for an Apple remote. Nothing sticks out, seems to work pretty good. I like the protector on there anyway, because I have kids. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and let us know what else you want to see in the comments down below. And subscribe to our channel.